Hi everyone, I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टूडे क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर फोर रैशनल नंबर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टूडे सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट टू एंड टूडे इज पार्ट इज पार्ट थ्री नाउ स्टूडेंट्स दो हैव नॉट वॉच पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू आई विल रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स टू डू वॉच इट आई हैव शेयर द लिंक एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो ओके सो दैट इफ यू वॉच दो पार्ट देन पार्ट थ्री यू विल अंडरस्टैंड मोर नाइसली ओके नाउ लेट आस सी इन क्वेश्चन नंबर Uh, one what they are telling of exercise 4.2 they are telling express the following rational numbers in their standard form now you have to understand what is this standard form standard form two things you have to remember okay first is number one the denominator okay rational number means in which style p by q the denominator what denominator cannot be cannot be negative okay minus ve cannot be negative or we can say denominator denominator has to be has to be positive okay it cannot be negative it has to be positive and the second one is what both the numerator and denominator numerator upside denominator downside okay both should have only one common factor that is one okay what common factor common factor will be what one okay not other than means other than one there will be no other common factor now you see this sum sum number a 35 by 14 so here common factor is there is no because here 35 means 7 is there 7 5 35 5, and 14 means 7 into 2 14 so common factor is there so what i can do i can reduce it okay i can do 7 2 is a 14 7 5 is a 35 so what i get 5 by 2 therefore 5 by 2 is the standard form is the standard form of what 35 by 14 clear now number b you can see number b here denominator is what negative here deno means if i write full form denominator okay so negative is there i have to remove that negative so to remove it what i can do i will write 81 by minus 108 if i multiply minus downside as well as upside so what i will get this one will become minus 81 and this one will become 108 see minus into minus plus okay now you can reduce it because common factor you can see here 81 108 so 9 so 9 9s are 81 and here 9 1s are 9 and then one extra so 10 so it becomes what 18 9 2s are 18 okay so what you get 9 by 12 now again common factor is there 3 okay 3 3s are 9 3 4s are 12 so ultimately what you get 3 by 4 so now i can write therefore 3 okay okay i forgot to write the minus sign okay So minus three by four. So minus three by four. So the answer will be what? Minus three by four is the standard standard form of eighty one by minus one zero eight. Okay. Be careful. See here minus is there. When I wrote, I wrote only three by four. I forgot to write the minus sign. So minus also you have to take minus three by four. 
Clear? Now this one minus 146 by 365. So denominator is positive, no problem. Now I have to only reduce it. Now whenever you will get 365, this one you remember, whenever you will get 365 and then it will cut with what number? Always remember it will cut with 73, this number, okay. So 73, 2 is 146 and 5 is 365, okay. One year means 365 days when we do sums with the year that time we use this 73 this number okay 73 so what you get minus 2 by 5 so I will write therefore minus 2 by 5 is the standard standard form of what was the original minus 146 by 365. Now you will say, sir, how you got it? See, 73 into 2, 2 3 are 6, 2 7 are 14. Again, 73 into 5, 5 3 are 15, 1, 5 7 are 35, plus 1, 36. Clear? Understanding? Now here, see, denominator negative is there. So I have to change. So what I will do? 6 by minus 42, I will multiply up and down numerator, denominator with minus 1 again minus 1 so what it will come minus 6 by only 42 now i can cancel so 6 1s are 6 6 7s are so what you get suppose if i use the duster to rub this one okay now what it will come minus 1 by 7 clear so therefore what i can write therefore minus 1 by 7 is the standard standard form of what 6 by minus 42 answer clear so this is the answer here this one is the answer here this one is the uh, this whole line you have to write this one main answer is this one okay minus 5 by 2 is the answer here answer is minus 2 by 5 here answer is minus 3 by 4. Here answer is minus 1 by 7. So I hope you have understood question number 1 A, B, C, D. Okay. Now students, those who are new in my channel, I would like to request all my students that if you like this video, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because when you subscribe, it really, really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And also, don't forget to press the all notification bell, ting ting, so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now, we will move on to the next question. Now, we will come to question number two. Check whether the following rational numbers are equivalent or not okay so how we will do how we will say that it is equivalent or not equivalent answer okay number a 12 by 54 and 54 by 12 so let us do this one first i will take 12 by 54 now i can reduce it okay so to reduce it i will divide okay or i will do cutting okay so what it comes to 6 are 12 here, 2 2s are 4, 1 carry 14, 2 7s are 14. Okay. Now, again with 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 9s are 27. So, what you get? 2 by 9. So, what you can write? Therefore, 2 by 9 is what is the standard form? You can write standard form of 12 by 54 clear like this way then again you can find out for this also second one 54 by 12 so this also will cut understanding or no it will cut you can cut directly with 6 also okay 6 2s are 12 and here 6 how much are 54 6 9s are so what you get 9 by 2 so therefore 9 by 2 is the standard form 
of 54 by 12. Now you see both the standard form 2 by 9, 9 by 2. Are they same? If they were same, then I will say yes, it is equivalent. But they are not same, they are different. Okay. So what I will say? They are not equivalent. Who are not equivalent? So hence, what you will write? Hence, 2 by 9 is original is what? 12 by 54? 12 by 54 and 54 by 12 are not equivalent. Are not equivalent. Because they told, check whether the following rational numbers are equivalent or not. So, this and this are not equivalent. Understood? Question number 2a. Now, 2b, same way only we will do. Answer. So, 11 by 33. You can cut 1s are 3s are. So, what you get? 1 by 3. So, therefore, 1 by 3 is the standard. Just now you did like that. Standard form of 11 by 33. And next one is what? 5 by 7. Now 5 by 7, this is only you cannot reduce it. Okay. So it is the is the standard form. It is only the standard form of what? Of 5 by 7 only. Same thing. This is only the standard form. So now they are not same. So what I can write? Hence 11 by 33 and 5 by 7 are not equivalent. Clear? So, this is the answer for this one and this is the answer for this one. So, I hope you have understood question number 2, A and B. Now, we will move on to the next question. Now, question number 2, C. Okay. So, let us do 2, C. 2 by 9. Now, 2 by 9 is already, you cannot reduce it. Okay. It is in standard form. See, the denominator is positive and there is no common factor other than 1. So, we can write 2 by 9 is in standard form. You know, directly also you can write. Okay. Is in standard form. Instead of writing 2 by 9 is the standard form of 2 by 9, you can write is in standard form. And the next one, See, 14 by 63. You can reduce it. Okay. 7, 7, 2 is a 14 and 7, 9 is a. So, what you get? 2 by 9. So, therefore, 2 by 9 is the standard, standard form of what is the original one? 14 by 63. Now, you see, both are coming same standard form. So, when both are coming same standard form, we can say they are equivalent. So, what I can say, hence, comma, 2 by 9 and 14 by 63 are equivalent. Clear? They are equivalent. Clear? Now, number D, let us do. N number D, answer. So, 3 by minus 7. 3 by minus 7. Now, 3 by minus 7, what I can do? I have to remove that minus sign from the denominator. Then only it will be in standard form. So, I can do 3 by minus 7. I will multiply numerator and denominator with minus 1. So, what I get? Minus 3 by 7. Okay. Now, this is in standard form. So, I can say, therefore, minus 3 by 7 is the standard standard form okay of 3 by minus 7 clear and after that next one is what minus 9 by 21 so the denominator is positive okay no problem now i will reduce it what i can do i have to divide 3 3 is a 9 3 7 is a. so what do you get minus 3 by 7 clear now therefore minus 3 by 7 is the standard standard form of what minus 9 by 21 hence now i can write hence if i draw one line here hence comma which two these two okay 
3 by minus 7 and minus 9 by 21 are equivalent. Clear? Remember, if the standard form is same, then only it is equivalent. If the standard form is not same, they are not equivalent. I hope you have understood these sums A, B, C, D nicely. Okay. So, students, agar video acha lage, to video ko like, share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega. Milte hain aur ek acche nai content ke saath. Tab tak ke liye, bye bye.